three parts detailing the crazy descent of one cute pink hedgehog. Hey everyone, this is Rabbit's Blog Animation Bliss and welcome to another ranking list series. So today's series that I'll be ranking today is chapter one of Mash's There's Something About Amy series. And before I get into this, here are a few words for the channel. Alright Animaniacs, now let's get on the social media train. Want to chat with us in a hundred words or less? Then check out our Twitter account. Want to chat with us within a group? Then check out our Facebook account. Want to get the lowdown on everything dealing with animation on this channel? Then check all of the above. And now, we return to our regularly scheduled program. So it's been a while since I last did a ranking list. The last time I did a ranking list for this channel was detailing how I felt about each Rugrats TV series that was being made not including the reboot. So for this particular ranking list, we'll be looking at a web animation series created by MASH called There's Something About Amy, Chapter 1. And there are three parts to this series. So we'll be ranking all parts of Chapter 1 of There's Something About Amy from least favorite to most favorite. And keep in mind that I actually enjoyed all of these shorts, I just enjoy some shorts more than others. But before we get into this list, here's a bit of a warning. There will be massive spoilers in this video, so if you haven't seen the series yet, you might want to watch this series first before you watch this video. However, if you've already seen that there's something about Amy's series and you just want to see how I rank each part, then keep watching. And now here we go with the ranking. Coming in at number 3, we have There's Something About Amy Part 1. So basically this is the first part of the series and it introduces Amy Rose trying to get Sonic's affections but unfortunately Sonic is not really paying attention to Amy or he's trying to turn down Amy's affections and this ends up causing Amy lots of pain throughout the short. But luckily Tails is there to help out Amy with her romantic problems but it appears that every time Tails gives advice to Amy Rose all of those advice ends up making things worse between her and Sonic until towards the end of the short where Tails decides to change Amy's look in order to appease Sonic much more. So what are my thoughts about this particular short? I did like this short. Like compared to MASH's previous short, The Secret History of Sonic and Tails, which was pretty dark throughout, this particular short starts off as being very lighthearted, as it just shows us how Amy Rose is still pining after Sonic, and it shows us how Amy is trying to get Sonic's attention, but to no avail. But then as the short goes on, we start seeing some creepy imagery pop up, and we start seeing that Tails is a lot more sinister as the short goes on. And I really love that aspect of the mystery of Tails character throughout the short. As that's what I really loved about this short was about the mystery surrounding Tails. And about why he's purposely giving bad advice to Amy Rose. And I was actually sitting at the edge of my seat trying to figure out what is Tails endgame here. What is he really doing to Amy Rose and what is he planning. So I really love that mystery aspect of part one. Coming in at number two is There's Something About Amy Part 3. Now in order to explain this particular short a bit better, I have to go into detail about Part 2. So what happened in Part 2 was that we finally see Amy's makeover and after Sonic rejects her once again, Amy ends up murdering Sonic. And so in this short, Amy goes to Tails and asks him to help her out with the situation. And Tails tells Amy to bury Sonic so nobody would know that Amy murdered Sonic. And of course Amy is upset over the whole ordeal but Tails is looking like he doesn't really care about what's going on and it was then that he reveals his true self to Amy Rose in this particular part and then we're left with a massive cliffhanger that would tie into chapter 2. So what are my thoughts about this short? I really enjoyed this short. Like out of all the shorts that were shown in this chapter, this was the most shocking part of the chapter. Like we finally get to see Tails' true nature in this chapter as it's revealed that he's actually the Tails from the secret history of Sonic and Tails short that was made years ago. And I didn't expect such a huge plot twist like that because I never thought that the secret history of Sonic and Tails series would tie into this series. And so that we finally see Crazy Tails again was a real treat to me. And I like to see where he and Amy is going to go after this in chapter 2. So that leads to number 1 which is There's Something About Amy Part 2. So in this part we see Amy's makeover from part 1 and we see that Amy has transformed into something monstrous and she ends up meeting up with Sonic. And of course Sonic is really upset and horrified at what Amy has become. 
and because he ends up rejecting Amy because he couldn't stand her nightmarish behavior and her nightmarish appearance, Amy Rose ends up murdering Sonic. Now the reason why that this is my most favorite part out of this series is because we get to see Amy Rose's slow descent into craziness in this particular short, especially when Sonic ends up rejecting her and she ends up murdering Sonic as a result. And I really love how creepy this particular part was compared to all the other parts. Like the first part started off as being lighthearted, even more lighthearted than Secret History of Sonic and Tails. And it only had a few creepy moments here and there. And with part three, even though it was creepy as well, it was mostly dramatic for the most part. But part two was the one that was really creepy overall as we get to see Amy's nightmares appearance where we see that she has dark makeup on her and then she has stitches on her arms which make her look very monstrous and then we see how insane she starts to become and it's quite nightmarish to look at how Amy turns from a sweet person into such a craze and nightmarish person all in one go and the fact that we get to see Sonic being very terrified by all this actually makes the creepiness factor in this particular short all the more worthwhile to see and this is why this is my all-time favorite part of the series so that's my ranking list for all three parts for there's something about amy chapter one and i gotta tell you this series was really surprising for me especially with all the plot twists that was going on and with all the creepiness that was going on as the shorts progress and i can't wait to watch chapter two and like chapter one i will be doing a ranking list for chapter two once it comes out so that's my ranking list for There's Something About Amy Chapter 1. And tell me in the comments down below, have you seen the There's Something About Amy series? And if you have, did you like the series? Did you hate the series? And what's your ranking list for each part of this series? Please let me know in the comments down below. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Rabbity's Wild Animation Bliss, and I'll see you guys later. Hey, animation fans. Like this video? If you want to see more animated content from this channel, then please hit that big old animated subscribe button so that you can get more awesome content from this channel.